Hello everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com and crop marks, I just find them neat, really cool. I don't know why. Perhaps, uh, you know, when I talk about crop box or, or letter boxing, when you add the black strip on the top, black strip on the bottom, and you're left with, you know, a very long, uh, wide aspect ratio video, um, it just, I don't know why, it just adds a really cool factor to it. And before I get into the whole crop marks thing, I wanted to tell you that I'm still reviewing the Kina. Um, I'm actually finding myself using this more and more. I'm going to get to that review later. And I'm also still reviewing the Canova slider. I'm still putting a video together. It's taking me lots of shots. One of the last things I'm trying to do is I put a piece of tape here and I put marks on it. And what I'm going to try to do, I don't know if I'm going to be successful at this or not, is I want to do a time lapse in the evening. There's a place in Boulder I want to do this and it should turn out awesome if it turns out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this one step. Um, each one of these darker marks, I don't know if you can see them, represent one second. It's only going to be about eight seconds long. I don't know if it's going to work or not because the whole thing is, is when I move it slightly, each step, if I move the, if I move the camera at all, it's going to kind of screw up the smooth action of the the time lapse as it goes down the uh, down the rails. So, so getting back to the crop marks um, in Magic Lantern, what happens is when you install it, you can um, turn on crop marks. And I use the Cinescope. I think it's called Cinescope Two. And what it does is puts the black bar on the top and black bar on the bottom. Sorry, if you can hear a piano in the background, my kids are practicing. So when you add the crop marks, um, you just can't take that file that they give you that gets installed on the camera. It's like a .bmp file, I think it is. It's a .bmp. You just can't take that and then put it onto your video um, because the aspect ratio is wrong because it's set up for a 4x3 and what you're doing inside the camera is more of a 16x9. So I developed my own. Um, I kind of measured it out as much as I could and got it to work. Uh, and all what I'll do is I'll put it on either on my Flickr page or somewhere on my site where you can download it But it matches pretty close to where the crop marks are on the camera And what's great about the camera is when you're recording or your preview mode you have these the crop marks <clears throat> so you know exactly where you're filming and how to how to compose the shot and then when you come in and like in like Premiere or Vegas or whatever you just take this um, I use a, a PNG um, with has a transparent layer. Uh, I believe that's what it's called, transparent. So you just overlay it on the top and then you could see through it on the next layer down. You have a crop mark on the top, crop mark on the bottom, and then your video resides underneath it and um, it works pretty well. So I'll put that in there and uh, that's pretty much it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.